very, very common triads and two less common triads. The most common triads are major triad and minor triad. Uh, the less common would be a diminished triad and then the really obscure um, augmented triad. So what we're going to do is we're not going to worry about diminished triad right now and we're definitely not going to worry about the augmented triad right now. We're just going to worry about those two kinds of triads. Um, are you guys hip to all this already? Okay, we're going to walk through playing them, so definitely take notes. Um, we're going to go ahead and do it in E, or sorry, uh, G, and we're going to play a G major triad. So the first note is the G, obviously. That's going to be the first note of our G major triad. All right. Next is going to be the second fret of the A string. That is the third of the chord. If, if that sounds totally random, don't uh, worry about it. it it's not going to change anything right now, but it's something you'll get used to hearing and then we'll discuss in more detail later. Just a B, actually, B natural. Second fret of the A string, yeah. All right, so now um, the third note of the triad, tri, like triangle or tricycle, tri meaning three, there's going to be three notes to this triad. Uh, the third note will be the fifth fret of the A string. That is coincidentally the fifth of the chord. Yep. Are you were you already familiar with that, Brian? All right, cool. All right, so now the next thing to know is that that's the way a major triad looks, always, uh, at least until we learn other, other ways of making it look. But what I mean to say is, if we did a G major triad, it's what we just talked about. If we do an A major triad, it looks exactly the same, it just starts from the A note. Alright, so that's easy then to remember. The B starts from the B. But it's the exact same shape, it looks the same, feels the same to play. Same with we did C major triad, or D major triad, or E major triad, all right? So we're going to take our G major triad that we played before, and we're going to flat the third. So, meaning you just go down a fret. So root, third, fifth, becomes root, flat third, fifth. All right, that's third fret, E string, first fret, A string, fifth fret, uh, A string. All right, so that's easy enough to see. We had major triad, root third, minor triad, root flat third. But we can play it another way that'll be easier on our hands. What we do is we take that first fret of the A string and we're going to play it on the sixth fret of the E string. Here it's the same note, right? So now our minor triad looks like this. Okay? Everybody with me so far? Alright, cool. So now we're going to start our major triads with our middle finger. We're going to start our minor triads with our index finger. All right, little little thing to remember, it's just a detail. Um, all right, so the next thing to do is just to apply those triads over songs. 